Hi there, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Just a quick video about flossing. Um, you know, they say that black people, they just cannot hold on to money. Um, if they're poor, they'll still buy something that has a name brand. And basically, they'll try to get the best within their means. Some people as black people, they go outside their means to get what they want. But they reckon it goes back to history. It goes back to a time where we didn't have anything. But I don't understand how we still have that kind of mindset where, you know, if we won, say, about a million, million pounds then. A million pounds isn't that much. Why you you would need to buy about eight or ten cars. I mean, you see these guys who have been given advances, the artists and celebrities, the, the black, the black, um, the black artists. They're given an advance. They end up, you know, spending, you know, have about seven or eight cars, massive house, load of gold, load of bling, designer clothes, designer shoes few months down the road or a couple of years down the road they're broke what is it about black people why whether they have it or not they can't spend sensibly um, and then the thing is is that some people who have it they have to show off with it you know what I mean they can't even be humble you notice a white guy who's rich you won't even know he's rich he's probably got a pair of you know raggedy jeans on a t-shirt goes through the town, you would even know he's got money. But black people, for some reason, even if they don't have it, they look as though they have it. And yet they've got nothing to back it up a lot of the time. So we have to start being realistic about our spending habits. We have to live within our means. We need to you know, we, it's not about dressing to impress anymore. It's about dressing to for the occasion and for what's necessary okay if you're going to a wedding and you want to bash out a little suit or something then that's different but you know all of this dressing up and bling blinging and you know putting yourself in debt and borrowing money to look a certain way it's just not a wise attitude to have in a time where money is going to be limited I mean money isn't even money it's just paper that they regurgitate and they give it some value. But when you're thinking about it, it's not really money. But what it does, it puts you in debt and it makes you it affects the whole sense of your well-being, even if you feel as though, OK, you know, I'm OK. I you know, it doesn't really matter if I got these debts accruing, you know, I'll pay them off some at some point. But psychologically, it's damaging especially if you're going into a relationship you go into a relationship and you have you know on the on the on the surface you look like you're doing well for yourself you probably have a reasonable job you know you dress well you might have a reasonable car I don't know what you have or but your appearance and the way you present yourself gives the impression that you're self-sufficient and you're doing okay what happens and this applies to women as well it's not just men Sometimes women are worse. But the fact of the matter is, you enter a relationship under false pretenses. And then a couple of weeks or a couple of months down the line, it starts showing It starts showing itself. Oh, you know, um, you can lend me a money, you know? Or, you know, I... I need I need some money to do this or I've got you know I haven't been able to pay my car payment or I lost my job I didn't want to tell you I was a bit worried and similarly the women buying expensive shoes expensive bags putting you know putting it all on their credit cards to create an impression and who are they impressing nobody cares Nobody really cares. If I see a, a guy dress up to the nines in a dance club, I might look at him and say, oh, yeah, he looks he looks OK, depending on how he's presented himself. If he's all flashy with a load of gold, I'm like, nah, you know, he hasn't presented himself well. He's overdone it. But, you know, normally if people look half decent, that's enough. And you do it for yourself. You don't do it for other people. And you don't put yourself in debt 
to prove something because you've got nothing to prove. All you have at the end of it is your bills coming in and you have to pay for it. Some people go on wild holidays. They can't even afford it. And they'll say, oh, I've been on a cruise. I've been, you know, I've been around the world. I went to Egypt. I went here. I went there. And when they come back, they're fretting because they don't have, you know, it's all been a charade. Yes, they, they're, they're living their dream. But their dream then becomes reality when they come home and they haven't got the wherewithal. Sometimes they don't even have food in their cupboard and, you know, they kind of put their best face forward. And sometimes people say that's OK. You know, you do what you want to do. You only live once. But it's best to be practical. You know, you, you, you know, these days you don't have to impress. Nobody cares. You know, providing you look clean and you're well presented, nobody cares whether or not you have a shirt from Primark or a shirt from Givenchy. Nobody cares. You know, I'm, I'm a shoe person. I'll always look at a man's shoes. And I look at the shoes not for how expensive they are, but normally the shape of the shoes... You know, I like Clarks and stuff like that. But normally the shape of the shoes. Clarks just happen to be expensive, but it's got nothing to do with the name brand. It's got to do with how they fit on the foot on the foot of the man. That's what I like. I like that kind of shoe. Or I might look at, you know, the suit and think, oh, yeah, that's a nice, that fits him well. But it's got nothing to do with the price. You can get reasonable clothes for a reasonable price and you don't have to put yourself in debt so black people for those of this who it applies to it doesn't apply to all black people of course it doesn't but try not to floss try not to, to create an impression for other people you know some people you know when they you know i've seen people you go to the clubs and come in and then put a big bucket of champagne and brandy on the middle of the floor and the glasses and then dancing around it and next thing you know they're boxing people and you know they're getting drunk on what they have and they feel as though they have a right because they bought champagne and they bought brandy and they've stuck it in the middle of the room for people to see nobody cares who cares if you've got champagne or brandy or whatever it is you're drinking Hennessy who cares nobody cares Nobody cares whether you have a black platinum card. Nobody cares. What people care about is love and security. That's what people care about. They want to feel secure and they want to feel loved. That's all they care about. So, people, let's get our priorities straight, especially in times when now more than ever, this country is going down the pan. Not only this country, but a lot of countries. And we're going to find ourselves in positions where we're going to have to really um, struggle and, you know, maintain a low profile. And what's the word I'm looking for? Make sacrifices. We're going to need to make sacrifices. We're going to need to preserve provisions because the time will come when, you know, with what's going on in the world, we're not going to be able to have all we have. And what you have now is not going to mean squat. It's not even like you're investing it in something that maybe down the road you can sell it and have some money for it. Clothes, shoes, nobody cares. Nobody wants them. So if you are going to spend your money, spend it wisely. I mean, the way I'm not even going to suggest how you spend it. People say you have to use metals in this in this current economy. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I'm not somebody who invests in that way, but I'm not a spendthrift either. So therefore, I'm just putting it out there. Peeps, try to preserve your money, what little you have. Spend wisely. No need to impress. Love and all.